Okay, guys, I'm here today with Jeff Glover. Huge honor for me. And uh, the knee tap. The knee tap. Yeah. And uh, guys, uh, Jeff showing you an entire structure all about uh, guard recovery and guard passing prevention. And uh, I think that's a subject that a lot of people want to learn, uh, Jeff, especially no gi, because it's so easy to get on the side on someone. So yeah. what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, I, I put out a, a post on the internet. I'm going to go work with BJJ Fanatics and like seven people wrote that. They're like, oh, do guard retention, retention. do a guard retention video. And um, <clears throat> I mean, one of the easy things that came to mind right away was like, if if we're like in side mount and you have me like in side mount, you know, the idea, the idea of like, of like exposing my back to get back to my guard rather than, rather than going this way, right? And rather than going to a single leg, and then recovering guard that way, which are great methods. The one I wanted to demonstrate was like, was like exposing your back and creating a barrel roll. And, and if the dude follows you or not, whether they follow you, let's say you jump on my back and you try to take my back, go, 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 as I find my way on top with it. Got it. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost like you're giving your back, but by I the time you try to get your back, you, you, you I can use that to get on top or I recover the guard if they don't take the back. You know what I'm saying? So if I go, ah, and they don't jump onto my back, I'm like, you just turn. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. And uh, it was something that that I wasn't very good at at first. And I was convinced you shouldn't even do it at all. I was convinced you shouldn't even do it at all. But I started rolling with people where where just going back to the garden like this wasn't happening. And I was like, dude, the only option I literally have for anything I'm completely stuck is to turn my back to this person. Over time, I started getting good at it. And I started realizing that if I defend the hooks and I defend the seatbelt, see, he got a seatbelt on me. I'm, I'm already in kind of trouble. But if I can, yeah. like, look, I'm back to a guard. Yeah, get to have her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, coach of cleanliness with uh, the gi, I do that a lot. So yeah. For example, someone's trying to, let, let's do the other side. Someone's trying to pass my guard here. I frame, frame, frame. By the time I feel that I'm not going to be able to frame anymore, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it's lesson. pretty similar, right? Yeah, it's, that's the exact lesson. Um, I think that lesson kind of scares people, you know? Like, because they're kind of giving the back, but... I mean, and we're taught, you know, your first week of jujitsu, don't turn your back to people. Okay. But as you know, sometimes it's like the only way you have out. And if it's, yeah, it's a last resort and it's all you have, you might as well try to get good at it. You yep. know what I'm saying? You might as well learn how to barrel roll and spin fast. And um, yeah, it's, it's something that I think uh, a lot of students could... Could really add to their games and benefit from. No, oh, got it. And uh, yeah, so and it's both both subjects are pretty similar to each other, right? Guard pre guard passive prevention yeah. and guard uh, yeah guard uh, recovery yeah yeah. So like like a, an example of like the prevention was like um, I'm really good at um, you putting me into a double under stack guard pass and like how to deal with this. So like just kind of put a guard pass on me. Go ahead, pass my guard a little bit. You know, like this idea. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Now you'll sprawl. Now you'll sprawl so that, so that doesn't happen and I get back and to my guard. Back. And always go to the half guard. <laughs> you know me. Yeah. yeah. No, I love that. You know, like like that lesson right there, that's that's something I'm really good at. And um, again, it's something Frangia really made sure I was good at, was that when somebody gets double unders, that I back roll out of that. And you don't just let them pass your guard. You know what I'm saying? But even there too, like now that I'm talking, now that I'm saying that, if you do get double unders and you do pass my guard and I can't back roll, go ahead and pass, go ahead and pass, and I, and I have to... I got it, you can go back there. Yeah, I love you know it. What I'm yeah. No, and one thing I love it about half guard is that uh, it's so easy to get at least, I'm not gonna say so easy, but it's not that hard to get at least the person's foot between your legs yeah. and now you, yeah. you didn't get the guard pass it or the mount yeah. or whatever because you have the half guard. Yeah, or the quarter guard, just yeah. the foot, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. No, and, the, and I love how you do that for no gi, you know, because uh, most that, of the times that, that I do that is similar, for example, I do more with gi. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that, that started off with, because like Frangia's like, Frangia's style was like this. This is what Frangia would always do. Put me in close guard. This whole thing was always start in close guard. Do this. Do this. Go. Boom. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. was his game. Let's unlock that and then go half guard. When you lock that half guard, he pushes to the So you were always on the half guard. Yeah. And I, like I used it. to call it hold on to the foot for dear life. Good. And they're like, no, it's called quarter guard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, like, that's, awesome. that's that's how I, I, I had to learn that lesson. Because yeah. that's, that's what Frangia's style was. I think it's like the alliance style. Yeah, the, that way to open the close guard. Yes, I do remember that because Pretty I would cool. always open the close guard. 
standing up and uh, controlling this lever and pushing the lever out. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to Alliance, I was black belt already, and that was taught to white belts. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn that because I had never done that in my life. So uh, so I, I, I can see that. Yeah. And, uh, no, but anyways, yeah, so guys, Jeff just uh, is showing this entire instruction all about guard recovery and guard passing prevention. And it's going to be at bggfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.